Hello peoples, today there is going to be a partial eclipse and uh, I'm just looking up the times here in Yuma and it says 2.20 to 4.44 so it's just a partial solar eclipse but it's still awesome so I'll go ahead and film it and I will post it on a line so uh, I'll see you then alright so um, I'm here setting up this stuff the tripod, the camera and whatnot so that we can get a good glimpse of the partial solar eclipse. So uh, yeah, getting that stuff going. So I'm outside just uh, waiting for the partial eclipse and I got everything set up. It's super hot outside right now, but uh, it's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so I stopped the time lapse because uh, it's not showing up very well. But I think the moon is finally uh, getting in the way. So uh, let me just play with some of these settings real quick and I'll be back. Alright, check this out. So I have a shutter speed at uh, 1 over 4000 and my brightness is all the way down and you still can't see anything. But if I put one, two, three sets of glasses over it. You can see the sun getting covered up by the moon. But yeah, I'm gonna try to set up a camera and see if I can still do a time lapse though uh, as it exits. So I will set that up. As you can see, the uh, partial solar eclipse is going away, unfortunately, and uh, it's actually a lot harder to see than I thought it would. I thought it would like cover the sun and it would be way less bright, And but no, I mean, it, you can't even tell that there's a partial eclipse unless you look through like lenses or a few pairs of glasses or something, but yeah, so um, I'll keep that in mind. Unfortunately, the solar eclipse, the full one, that is uh, March 30th, I believe, or March 20th, one of those, I think it's March 20th, but I'm not sure, um, in 2015 is, I cannot record because it, it will not be visible here, but the two lunar eclipses, the next ones, will be, so I'll be able to film those, and... So I'll see you in the next video.